Alright, so I'm Paige Mosley and I went to a new student new student dialogue. I can't talk. But in my new student dialogue it was talking about I'm sexy and I know it's strong men and beautiful women. I I try to show you the example of a strong man and a beautiful woman with my friend Tamira, who's I can't show you because the camera's thing is weird. But uh oh this is starting from the beginning, so this is lovely. You can't even see the examples that I was gonna show you. I don't you but can edit them in. Wait, what happened? No, I guess I started a new recording somehow. I don't I can't tablet yet. It's been too yeah, I was like I don't, know how to to work it. I don't know how to work it. Anyways, so my, my, the, I tried to show you a real life example of a strong man and a beautiful woman, or at least what the stereotypes of a strong man and a beautiful woman are. And we consider strong men to be, I don't know, gym worked out cut, things like that. <laughs> and we consider beautiful women to normally be, um, we see them in makeup, more model-esque, uh, wearing dresses and heels, something to flaunt their assets. That's a, Those are the main stereotypes of strong men and beautiful women. The class that we went to, it was um, not a class, but a group discussion actually, it was circle-based and we basically sat there, we started with an exercise of what everybody considered to be a strong man or beautiful woman, like everybody had to write something down. And most people, the first thing that most people would say, like, was a, is a celebrity, because we generally think that celebrities have a sort of not a power exactly, but a good an aura around them that makes them more appealing to the eye. And some of the celebrities that were chosen as beautiful women, um, what's her name, I don't know, I don't know, my personal choice would have been Jessica Alba, I'm a, I'm a true fan, maybe even Nina DeBrev, if y'all know who Nina DeBrev is, psh, that's a beautiful woman right there, um, for some of the guys that were chosen, Ryan Reynolds was a, was a big favorite, oh. I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know what to say. Besides Ryan Reynolds, uh, there was Ian Somerhalder for me, also for me. Vampire Diaries comes on a lot. Netflix, Joy My World. Anyways, another good example. What? Um, was I can't think. I can't tell you. But Hugh oh yeah, Hugh Jackman. X Men, Wolverine. What about Get Leonardo on. DiCaprio? I don't know if it was in there, but mm, Leonardo DiCaprio was chosen for his face, you know. But nobody really considered him a strong man. I consider him perfect. Anyways, women, well, strong women, besides Jessica Alba, <laughs> or not strong women, beautiful women, besides Jessica Alba, and um, maybe even I don't know. I really can't like give you examples of women. Probably because women are more often able to give examples of men, and guys are more often able to give examples of women. But Bar Raffaele, she's a fa famous Israeli model. Very. You're not running through mud. Now I'm going to show you an example of a strong man and a beautiful woman. <laughs> Hold on a second. Begin. And sit ups. <laughs> okay, and now I'm gonna. Oh gosh, and now I'm gonna show you the example of a beautiful woman. There we go. Was that good? I'm excited to say that my new student dialogue, um, "Sexy and I Know It," "Strong Men and Beautiful Women." was very education uh, education <laughs> was very educational in the in the part that I was able to avoid stereotypes and to look past outer beauty shall we say and 
I was also able to see how other people view what beauty is and what I define beauty as. And I I don't know what I'm going to apply this to later on yet, but at least I have some knowledge to go on, go forth from now on. Thanks.